Hi there and welcome to another Chili Car Cleaning Guru video. Today I embarked upon a 70 mile round trip to the neighbouring county to get my mitts on this brand spanking new 5 litre V8 Mustang GT and give it its first proper wash and wax. And although the US contingent here may already be used to seeing these cars on a fairly regular basis, this is actually the first time right hand drive models have been available to purchase here in the UK and so I was eager to get to grips with one while there's still an unfamiliar sight in this part of the world. With the car having just been collected the previous day, there was only very slight dirt that had flicked up from the drive home, yet this job wasn't really about deep cleaning and decontaminating, but preparing and protecting the paintwork from the elements for the remaining winter months. The first port of call was of course a decent pre-clean to remove what light contaminants there were from the surface prior to contact washing and reduce the likelihood of swirl marks being inflicted in the new finish. A thick layer of heavy duty snow foam was carefully blanketed over the car before being left to dwell for a good 5 minutes. And although it looks nice on camera, I chose not to agitate the foam with a soft detailing brush as with it being a brand new vehicle there was no ingrained dirt to work out, plus the less the pristine paintwork was touched during the day the better. The car was then thoroughly rinsed off to remove the remaining foamy residue plus what little dirt it had hopefully encapsulated. Prior to washing the body of the 400 brake horsepower beast, its 19 inch mesh style wheels were given a light clean with some diluted all purpose cleaner as well as shampoo, although with aftermarket Vossen items due to soon take their place I didn't go too mad with the wheel cleaning duties. Buckets were then washed out, refilled with suds, fresh water and a couple of brand new synthetic wash mitts before the car was hit from top to bottom with the two bucket technique. Washing a section. Flipping the mitt where necessary. rinsing and reloading with soap before moving on to the next panel.
The factory fresh paintwork helped the wash mitts glide over the surface, reducing friction, therefore the likelihood of swirls or marring being inflicted. And with it being a cool damp winter's morning, there was no worry of suds drying on the surface, and so no need to rush to get to the rinsing. The lower areas of the stang were cleaned with a separate wash mitt to prevent any cross-contamination with future washing, whether it be on this vehicle or another. And for anyone complaining about washing an already clean car, here you can see the contamination that was removed from these areas, proving that despite already looking clean, appearances can be deceptive. A final rinse was then undertaken to remove all of the remaining suds from the surface of the car prior to drying it off. One of my favourite microfiber drying towels, known simply as the Fluffy, was then employed to gently pull as much water from the vehicle as possible. The three-dimensional design of the rear clusters, despite being one of my favourite features of the car, were a little awkward to dry off with a towel and appeared to be the perfect candidate for blow drying. But because I don't currently have a suitable piece of kit for this, I had to ensure I properly worked the fluffy in to soak up any accumulated rinse water and prevent frustrating drips materialising during the waxing process. Once the beefy body had been methodically dried off with the plush towel, the tyres were dressed with a durable exterior rubber protectant applied via a small foam applicator pad. While the still wet faces of the wheels were also dried off with a separate generic towel reserved for wheels and tyres.
Washing, drying and dressing complete, it was time to cleanse the paintwork prior to waxing, for which I used Dodo Juice Lime Prime, a fresh sponge applicator pad and a plush Euro buffing towel. It was applied to the pad in a zigzag fashion, then dabbed over the surface before being worked in using both circular and linear motions. Although the Lime Prime does have some light cutting and gloss enhancing properties, the main reason for using it here was to ensure that the wax I was to subsequently apply bonded to the paintwork properly and gave the best possible durability which is important for a brand new car kept outside at this time of year. The liquid-like formula of the cleanser doesn't need to be left for any specific period of time to dry to a haze like other polished products and so once it had been sufficiently worked over the paintwork it was quickly removed with a thick buffing towel to reveal a surface which in this poor light was hardly distinguishable from how it previously appeared. Nonetheless, I worked my way around the vehicle, systematically cleansing all of its body panels with the product until I felt they were ready for a good wax. The protectant I went with, while not particularly attractive in its rusty old tin, was Colonite 476S Double Coat, a long-lasting heavy-duty detergent-proof wax which should easily see the paintwork through to the spring. Again, it was applied using another sponge applicator pad which, after being worked around in the tin, was dabbed and gently worked over the surface in a manner which followed the contours of the car while ensuring all areas were adequately coated. It was left for a short time to dry to a haze before being thoroughly buffed off with a further fresh towel and while I probably could have got away with applying it to the entire vehicle in one go, I chose to apply and buff a section at a time as I didn't know if rain was going to ruin play or not. 
Also, the air was very damp and I didn't want to give the moisture a chance to settle over the hazing residue which would potentially make buffing a nightmare as obviously wax and water don't mix. The cool panels also meant that the application wasn't as slick as I would have preferred, giving more of a streaky appearance on the surface than the uniform coating that can easily be achieved in warmer months. I worked through this however, ensuring all areas eventually saw an even coverage of the protectant prior to it being buffed away. When waxing around badges and chrome trim, I like to work over them too if possible, especially on a new vehicle. Many people tend to avoid this to prevent unsightly wax residue buildup around the edges, which is a dead giveaway of an amateur job. However, I simply ensure I spend a little extra time removing it properly with the plush buffing towels. As with all aspects of the exterior car detailing process, the lower areas were waxed last as even though the car is technically clean and contaminant free, you're more likely to pull a stray dirt particle out from the lower parts and with the upper parts already treated, potential scratches and blemishes, although rare, will be less visible on a lower sill or bumper. With the paintwork now protected, I moved on to the final product of the day, Poor Boy's Wheel Sealant, to protect the rims from brake dust and road grime for the few days or weeks they were to stay on the car. Another applicator pad reserved for use solely on the wheels was used to gently dab and spread the bright pink sealant over the face of them. It was given a good five minutes to cure while I applied it to the other wheels. Before being thoroughly buffed off which again was done with a separate generic microfiber towel which doesn't go near the paintwork.
Then all that was left to do was to work around the Mustang one last time with a clean towel and some detail spray to lift off any stray smears and ensure all areas were as perfect as possible prior to grabbing some glossy aftershots. Roughly five hours were spent on the car in total, but I did have to call it a day around mid-afternoon as the damp air was slowly beginning to settle on the freshly waxed surface as sunset drew closer. In the breaks between the clouds, what low-lying winter sun there was thankfully showed a crisp, swirl-free finish which was reassuring after all that work. And although far from an all-inclusive new car detail, the hand cleanse and heavy-duty wax, while lifting the new finish somewhat, should more importantly ensure that any remaining winter contaminants thrown at it, whether that be road salt, bird crap, traffic film or even other car cleaning chemicals, would have a tough time doing any damage. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching The Wild Pony as much as I enjoyed taming it, make sure you like and subscribe to let me know you want more, and if you do, I'll make sure I catch up with you all again soon.